This is Avinian from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial in Houdini. So today we're gonna create this. So actually I saw this uh, in a MPC reel, a process reel. So I thought uh, it would be great if I could recreate this. So yeah, where it is, it's here, yeah. So this is the look which they have created. So I thought, let me just try and create something like that. So yeah, you can see that how these fabric is coming up and going down. So like this simulation and the look, I tried to recreate it. I know it's not exactly the same, but yeah, I tried my best for the sake of this tutorial. So I didn't go much deeper, but I thought it would be enough to create it. So this is my version and it's like, it's starting here and going upwards and then it falls down like this so so i tried to recreate it and i think somehow i reached, reached to that point okay and um, how i did that it's fairly simple okay for the initial part actually i followed the antigma tutorial okay which I will definitely uh, give you the link. You can also check that tutorial, okay? And after that, I made some uh, changes and few things to achieve the desired look. So let's get into Houdini. So here we are in Houdini, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'll give you the overview of how I created the setup, okay? Because, uh, it's fairly simple okay so i'll just give you the overview and surely i am attaching the uh, project file in this video okay so in the description below you can find the link and download that project file so it could be easier for you guys so first of all i have created a grid and orientation is that explain size is 12 in x and y axis 0.5 okay next what i did is i created a scatter point node and with the force total count i chose 50 points only then i created a tube okay in this tube uh, radius, radius is around 0.5 and the height of the tube is 5 rows 128 and column 24 okay then i added a polyfill node okay in this fill mode i used quadrilateral grid okay and by default smooth is enabled so i disabled it okay and that's it. so what it does is it actually fills up the hole properly with the subdivisions okay so that's here and next what i created is created a copy to points node and the points which i scattered i instance these tubes on those scatter points okay and after that i created a group node okay why i created this i created this to pinpoints the bottom part of the cubes uh, sorry tubes okay so how i did that i just selected created a group node and renamed it to pin and here in keep in bonding regions i created uh, i enabled the this uh, option and here i selected the bonding box and it depends on your size okay what are what are the dimension you are using so according to me the in x axis 13 was uh, is sufficient for me and 0 0.01 in the y axis okay and in c it's three and then i created a vellum cloth node 
in a vellum solver node okay in a vellum cloth node so first of all i did it i did this in this pin to animation i selected the pin which i actually created in this group okay so i selected that group in here so that these uh, points are going to stick together okay so my cloth will not fall down okay so that's what i did here and in the vellum cloth down to the go down to the bend option here we will use 0 0.1 value actually uh, no it's one cool so by default when you uh, add this vellum cloth it gives you a 0 0.1 value so we have to change it to the one okay now in the vellum solver so here in simulation tab by default it's 5g view of clash cast uh, space so make sure you increase that because uh, otherwise uh, if you simulate like more frames then definitely in the beginning frames it will skip it, uh, it will take only the frames which are like covering 5g view of data okay so yeah that's it so it's fairly simple like i told you like the antagma tutorial so in my case uh, what i wanted to do is like i have these cloth hoses should fall down and then they should rise up and fall down again so to do that what i did is by default uh, i didn't change the gravity okay it's as it is okay but one more one thing what i did is i get into the vellum solver like this and here i created uh, this pop wind okay so here in pop wind i animated the wind velocity in y axis and z axis okay z axis and i animated the amplitude and the swell swell size okay that four things i had animated it so what i did is if i select this wind pop wind okay and just switch off this option this brain kind of thing okay so now it won't simulate okay so all i can see is the keyframe which i have created so okay like uh, i didn't disable the uh, gravity so definitely this cloth gonna fall down so i took advantage of that and at the frame 12th okay uh, sorry till the frame 12th i enable the wind velocity in z axis so that they will push towards the z axis okay so that's what happened here okay if you see the first frame it's like that because let me show you let me let me catch this and i'll show you so my simulation is cached <clears throat> so what i did is like i told you <clears throat> i enabled the wind velocity in z axis by 5 till 12th of 12th frame like you can see that they are like pushing towards the y axis so, sorry z axis okay and at the frame 15th i just disabled it like i animated to the zero value okay and after that they are like the, the only thing left is gravity so they are like falling down 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 so till 40th frame okay so from 40th frame i enable these three parameters like amplitude so size and wind velocity in y axis okay so i started enabling it by till the frame 45 <coughs> wind velocity is affecting by 6 like here okay and till frame 50 i again key that value of amplitude of 2 and soul size to 1.5 and till 85th frame i just left those value as it is so that my cloth cloth can float 
easily offers okay like you can see here it's happening and at 90th frame i had disabled all these values like put it to the zero so after the 90 they are just falling down okay so it's like it's very simple and it's completely based on your keyframes so uh, what i did is i studied that uh, how many frames i want these uh, uh, fabric hoses to be floated in air and then they have to fall back like in the reference I showed you like same thing happening in here okay so they are falling back uh, so that that's how I achieved this it's fairly simple pretty easy that's why I'm just giving you the overview and obviously you have the file I am just attaching in uh, that file it's in a you can you can check that file in a description below you can download that completely free okay and after that you can use vellum post process i also did that and with the catmull clock i use the subdivision depth of one and one more thing i did is i exported this data as an alembic okay and i have imported in the maya and rendered there okay so it's fairly simple now you can easily create this kind of effect very easily okay so it's a very short tutorial it's not even a tutorial it's like it's just a setup which i'm showing you okay hope you like this and uh, if you have any uh, concern and comments you can uh, tell me in a comment below if you have any concerns about doing things if you're getting some errors and all and something you want to like uh, suggestions you have like so let's tell me what kind of tutorials you want i will love to do that okay whenever I get the free time from the production workflow okay so I hope you like this uh, quick tutorial or uh, overview okay and uh, keep searching keep learning and please stay safe at your home uh, because of this COVID-19 situation and take care we'll see you next time bye bye